everybody. I am Jessie with Imagination Yoga here with you again this morning and I am here with Avery and Jack and we are excited about um, today's class. Today's class is all about concentration. We're going to talk about what concentration is, some activities to practice it, and then some yoga poses that we can do to help you practice concentration at home. So just like always, let's start um, off together with three big full yoga breaths. Okay, here we go. Hands in our heart center. Follow along with me. Great. Are you done again? Last time. Very well done. Okay, so how many of you out there and how many of you two have ever heard this from a grown up? I need you to concentrate on what you're doing. Or, hey, focus on what it is that you're doing right now. Have you ever heard that before? Yeah. yeah. Yes. But here's the deal. Have we ever stopped to really talk to the children that we're working with about what exactly it is that we're looking for when we ask them to concentrate. So here's what it is. When someone asks you to concentrate, they're looking for three things. I'll tell you what they are. First one is your body. It needs to point at that object or that thing that you're concentrating on. Your eyes, we'll start there. Your eyes need to look at it and your mind needs to focus on it. All three have to happen in order for concentration to kick in. That's where we start. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little concentration activity with my rose quartz stone here. So what I'm going to ask you to do now is move your body if you need to so that your body is pointing at it, your eyes are looking at it, and your mind is thinking about the stone. Jack and Avery are going to do it with me here too, okay? We're going to concentrate on the rose quartz stone for five seconds. Are you ready? Set. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Yay! You did it. You concentrated on that stone. That is wonderful. Well done. But here's the other thing that's true in life. Every single day, there's this other thing that exists, and it's called distraction. Distraction is a real thing that can pop up anywhere. Distraction tries to show up and break your concentration. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice again by concentrating our bodies, our eyes, and our minds on this stone. Even when Shane, the distraction, comes into the screen behind us, don't look at Shane. Keep your concentration right here on this stone. Are you ready? Your body, your eyes, and your mind, all three on this stone. We're gonna start beginning to concentrate. Ready, set, concentrate. Don't get distracted. Stay concentrated. Stay concentrated on this rock. Stay right here. Stay on the concentration. Four, right here. Three, two, one. You did it. You concentrated even when there was a distraction. Well done, Shane. Even when there was a distraction, you stayed concentrated. So when you stay concentrated on something like that, what actually happens is your brain gets stronger. Your brain gets smarter. So take your head, hands, give your head and brain a hug. Hug, hug. Thank you for your hard work. So just like when we move our bodies in yoga, we strengthen our muscles. When we practice our concentration, we make our brain smarter. And that helps you in all kinds of parts of your life. Okay, so we're going to now go ahead and move into our yoga practice now. Because there are several yoga poses that we can do that help us also with practicing our concentration. So I'm going to have everybody stand up, please like that. And we're going to start out this morning with five sun salutations, but I want you to keep your concentration on your own body and how you're feeling. Notice as we move our way through these five sun salutations together, exactly how you feel in your body as we do it. So come up to the top of your mat or just come find a comfortable place to stand. Remember, keep your concentration on your body. If you notice your mind starts to wander elsewhere, it's okay. Just bring it right back 
to what you're doing right now. Okay, here we go. Pick up a big handful of concentration and another big handful of concentration, and we're gonna lift it up all the way up. Concentration in your head, concentration in your heart, all the way down, touch the floor. Legs come flat back behind you. Lower your body down. Big brave heart out. High yoga friends. Tuck your toes, pop your tail. Take two slow breaths in downward dog. Step to the top of your mat. And we'll go again. Bring your concentration to what you're doing. Up, head, heart, all the way down. Step back. Lower your body down. Brave heart up. Tuck your toes, pop your tail. Two slow breaths. Concentrate on the air coming into your nose. And going out. And in. And out. Step through. Here we go again. All the way up. Head. Heart. Down. Step back. Lower your body down. Brave hearts up. Tuck your toes, pop your tail. Breathe. Step to the top. All of your concentration on what you're doing right now. Up, head, heart, all the way down. Step back. Down dog. Step through. Last one. All of your concentration. Keep it right here as we move up, 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 up. Head. Heart. All the way down. Check. Lower down. Heart. Down dog. Breathe. Step through. Very, very, very good. Okay, have everybody now come on to your heels. Sitting on your heels. Take your belly. Stick it on your thighs. Take your forehead and rest it down on the yoga mat. This is a great yoga pose for concentrating. Bring all of your concentration inside yourself. Concentrate on the air coming in, the air going out. If your mind starts to wander, come back to where you are. Two more slow breaths in, in child's pose here. Wonderful. Slowly, I'm gonna count backwards from three. Take all of that time to roll up to sitting on your heels. Begin rolling up. Three, come on up. Two, take your time. One, wonderful. Come onto your hands and knees now. Step your hands out just a little bit further, and we're going to pop our tails up and come into downward dog. One, two, three, pop up into downward dog here. So in downward dog, we're going to hold this for five breaths. Close your eyes here. Sometimes when we close our eyes, that removal of that sight sense removal helps us to concentrate. Find stillness here in your downward dog. Close your eyes. Find stillness in your downward dog. Notice and concentrate on what feels good in your body. If your eyes have popped open, trust yourself. Close them if it feels comfortable. Breathe. One more inhale and one more exhale out. Now what I'd like you to do is walk your feet towards your hands and your hands towards your feet. Keep your head down. Keep your head down and your bottom is lifted. 
Your bottom is lifted. Kids, your bottoms are lifted up in the air. Yep, yep, yep. We're gonna come up now. Go ahead and straighten your legs as much as feels comfortable, but stay in a forward fold. Stay in a forward fold. And actually what I'd like you to do is see if you can bend your knees just enough so that the top of your belly and the, top, the bottom of your belly and the top of your thighs can connect. And then let your head just hang. Avery, come up a little bit higher. Yep, you don't have to wrap your hands around. Just let your head hang. And what I want you to do is let yourself relax here enough so that your head can really shake. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Just let yourself relax. Forward fold. Just breathe here. We're doing lots of poses today where our head is lower than our heart. That's on purpose. Keep breathing. Anytime our head is lower than our heart, it's calming. But also we're increasing the flow of blood to, keep your head down, keeping the flow of blood to our brain, the, to the prefrontal cortex, which helps with decision making, which helps with concentration. So continuing staying in your forward fold, let your hands hang, let your hands hang. Avery, yeah. Let your head hang, hang as well. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Breathe. And now, my friends, we're going to take five breaths to, or five set, uh, count of five, not five breaths, a count of five, to roll ourselves all the way up to standing. Here we go. Go slow. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your shoulders up to your ears. Roll your shoulders back. Open your hearts up here. One more time. Roll your shoulders up to your ears and roll them back. Great. So for our last concentration pose this morning, we're going to practice tree pose. But an important opportunity that we have in tree is to practice something in yoga that we call a drishti. And a drishti is a point of focus uh, through transition. So what's important is when you find it a point of focus, it can be down on the floor in front of you, it can be up on the wall in front, it could even be the ceiling. But what's important is when you find a drishti, it's something that's not moving. So even though you're watching the screen right now, um, try not to watch us. Maybe look at something that's not moving. Maybe the ceiling behind us or something like that. Because if you look at something that's moving, it's harder for your body to hold and find stillness. So, okay. Bring your hands together at your heart center. Both feet are on the floor at first. Yep. Great. And then we'll lift one heel off the ground. Put that heel on the opposite ankle. Your toe stays down. Find your drishti. Find your point of concentration. And then if you're feeling really stiff, steady and you've got your concentration, go ahead and lift your leg either below your knee or above it, find your place, and then once you've got your leg where you like it and your drishti is concentrated on, lift your hands up as high as you can and hold. Keep your eyes fixed on your drishti. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your hands down and your feet down. That was wonderful. Let's do it on the opposite side. So again, find your drishti, your point of concentration, your point of focus through transition. We all need a drishti right now, don't we? Lift your opposite ankle to, your, to the opposite heel. Fix your eyes on that drishti. Move your foot up higher if you'd like, but there's no reason to. You're in tree pose when you're standing here. So if you want to lift your legs, so be it. But that's not the important part. What's important is the focus and the way it makes you feel. Lift your arms up. Lift your arms up overhead. Find your drishti. Five, four, three, two, one. Wonderful job. Feet come down, hands come down. And I'm going to have everybody lay down on their yoga mats. So what we're going to do now is just do a little bit of concentrating on different parts of our body while we're in our Shavasana. But something that can help a little bit with that, I've got two of our calm stones here. What I'm going to do with the calm stones is I'm actually going to place one on each of their foreheads, just like this. This little bit of that can um, help a lot as kids are learning how to hold their concentration. So look what happens. If Avery is concentrated, her stone doesn't move. But if she gets distracted, look what happens to her stone. It falls off. So what's important here, and that's why these stones can be so helpful in this practice, she's going to keep her focus. Lay your hands down next to your side body. She's going to keep her focus 
and her concentration right there. And if it feels comfortable when you're concentrated and lying down on your back, go ahead and close your eyes. And then bring all of your concentration to your feet. You don't have to move them, but give all of your attention to your feet. Think about your feet and then let them go. Now bring all of your concentration to your own knees, all of it. Think only about your own knees. Think about your knees. Then let your knees go. Then I want you to bring your attention to that place where the, the, your, let's see, your bottom is resting down on the yoga mat. All of your attention to your back body. All of your attention right there, nowhere else. And then let it go. Now bring all of your concentration to your arms and your hands and your fingers. All of your concentration to your arms, hands, fingers, all of your attention there. There, 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 there. Then let it go. Now bring all of your attention to the back of your head, right where your head is resting on the floor. All of your attention there. Then let it go. Now bring all of your attention to the front of your face. All of your attention to the front of your face. Then let it go. And we're gonna sit here in a concentrated, relaxed silence for the next 15 seconds. You can do it, here we go. Wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. If you happen to have a stone on the top of your head, you can take it off. If you don't, that's okay. Just grab it and sit down. Then go ahead and roll onto your side. Come up all the way back up to sitting. Ooh, nicely done, friends. This is such a fun concentration. All these activities that we did help you to practice. All of these poses that we did help you to um, practice your concentration. And just like we talked about, when you exercise your muscles, they get stronger. When you exercise your mind, it does too. So spending a little bit of time on these concentration exercises, using these poses that we did today, are all going to help build that super strong brain of yours um, and build up your concentration. So hands come to your heart center, just like always, we'll end the way that we do. Kind hearts. Kind words, kind thoughts, kind hearts, kind words, kind thoughts. Last time, kind hearts, kind words, kind thoughts. The best in me honors the best in you. Namaste. Thank you so much, everybody. That was a. This whole activity came today from our concentration curriculum. Um, so much more where that came from. That was just one of the activities of the 10 that we have. So if you're interested in learning more, visit imaginationyoga.com or make sure to follow us and subscribe and like in all the different places. We've got so much more for you. So thanks for joining us. See you tomorrow. Smash like!